Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. And last night, Leticia Pearson had gone live like some other ladies from Bell Collective. But Leticia had a different kind of live. Uh, it seems that she is fed up to hear. She says she's tired of being quiet. She is spilling some tea. We need to figure out who she's talking about. And it's just some other stuff. So let's get into her first talking about someone's job. Let's go. Or when we first started pitching and we needed people, I pitched people. We needed, we didn't, we wanted to recast somebody left. Y'all know the situation. I pitched people all the time that I thought was a good fit for the show. I'm not intimidated by no woman. Anybody that know me personally, my mentees, I'm here to support everybody. Some of the, my cast members who pitch people on this show, no shade, no nothing, but they know damn well. Them people wasn't a bell. But they knew that they they didn't want nobody that was going to be equal or better. Let's call stuff what it is. I think I'm tired of being silent right now. I think I'm tired of being silent. And everybody know. Every, everybody who need to know, they know when I speak. When I do speak, it be facts. That's why I try my best. Right? What about a cast member who called me when she said Carlos King and, 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 and the other producers called and said, my job is in jeopardy. Tisha, help me with story. You remember that? I know you're listening. You remember that? You remember that? And we sat on the phone and I help you with story? You remember that? Yeah. What about you? What about you calling? People calling. I need this. I need that. Help say the job for you. And you and I see people moving. See, I'm going to start talking. And y'all don't want me to talk. What happens is y'all see I'm a woman up empowering me. Like, well, Tisha not going to do that. But see, stop playing with my character. Stop playing with my character, okay? All right? Stop playing with my character. All right, that's all I'm saying. The, 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 the damn show was shot. Leave it there. Don't get out here tweeting no bullshit, because then I'm going to release some stuff. All right? Let's talk about that. Calling. Somebody called you. I guess I don't supposed to know that either. How am I supposed to know Carlos King called you and said your job, you need to bring it? And Tisha, ha, ha, Tisha, Leticia, Leticia, help me say some story. Gave you an idea. See my storyline on the TV for you. Stop playing with me. Real talk. Stop playing with me. See, everybody know. Stop playing with me. Let's release messages. When I told someone, hey, I want you on this show, but somebody don't, way before we hit a camera, way before we, way before, way before we even start filming, and I was still looking out. I ain't got no reason to lie. Real talk. I ain't got no, I don't have a reason to lie. I don't have a reason to lie. I carry my own. And when this when this ride is over for me, baby, I'ma continue, continue to carry my own. I'm a leader. Okay, I'm a leader. When I show up and anything that I do, I was taught to show up and give my all and give my authentic self. You think I wanna look crazy going in and out with Glenn? Hell no. You think that I, I really I, for for a story? Do you know how much more shit I can talk about? But that's my reality with somebody who is tied to me, which is my husband. And unlike some, I ain't scared to talk about it. Because when I travel and I go to these airports, people are saved by my story. See, y'all don't want me to start talking. Y'all don't want me to start talking. I film on the same show as some of you. Stop it now. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop, keeping, stop putting my, my name in your mouth for content. Please stop. Please stop. I would feel less of less of a woman if I had to depend on somebody else to make me relevant. Lena Yo, who is Leticia talking about? She's saying that Carlos was gonna let somebody go from the show. They came to her to help them get a storyline together. Y'all gonna do process of elimination and I'm gonna move on. Let's keep going. I'm going to let y'all come on in. If y'all watch the show or whatever, I said what I said. And anytime I'm wrong, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to apologize. I'm a, if I do something in private, I'm a, 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 a private apology ain't nothing. If I do something in public, I'm going to apologize in, in, in public. So right there, I felt like she was talking about when she was sitting down with Akisha and Marie at Gucci's backyard party. And she was saying how she had apologized. Well, Akisha was saying how Leticia had apologized to uh, Tambra. And they was thinking that Marie should. And Marie said, for what? So the apology was for her going behind Tambra's back talking to her ex. 
Now, I do also think Marie should apologize, but she apologized for this. And then she went on to say she doesn't have any beef with anybody, right? She will help you if she can help you, but she has no beef with any of the girls. Let's see what else we can find. About to get fired. You said you received a call. You said you received a call. And how can I help you? And I did that. Stop it. Stop it now. Bow. But like I said, y'all. I literally have an idea of who she's talking about that was about to get let go and she needed to help them. I have an idea, but I'm going to keep that to myself. I want to know what y'all think. Let's keep going. Let me see if I can find that part where she was talking about Akeisha being in this group chat. Hold on. What kills me, it ain't, it ain't what they cut. It ain't what, what's on the show. It ain't what is edited. You can't put all that footage into, into a 45 minute. You can't do that. My thing is this. Stand on business and be true to who you are and what you know the truth is. I don't have to lie about a, a, somebody that won't know about in a text message. Hell, who she was talking about at that time afterwards. And it's it, after I, I said it, hell, I didn't want that person in the text message. You know what I'm saying? In the text group. It ain't got nothing to do with anything else. But the people who know and the people that need to know what happened, they know. And that's all that really matters to me. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. When all this came out, season two, about the text message and not wanting Aikisha to be in the text thread, did Letitia... Like, throw, she threw it all on Tambra, right? She didn't take anything saying that, oh, I didn't want you in there either. Am I tripping? Because I just really want to make sure. Because now she's saying she did want her. And she actually said that on the show last night. That she did not want Akeisha in the text thread. Like, what is really the problem? Let's wrap this on up. I think it's time to start talking about it. I'd have been real about it. We're going to talk on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk on it. So, uh, that's what we're going to start doing. Again, I, I hate that people got out the live. And thank you so much. You said I think you're truthful. One thing about me, one thing about me, and I got my homegirls on here that's been friends. Like, at the end of the day, my character, my character speaks for itself. But, you know, that's just what it is. My character, my character speaks for itself. Now, if everybody else want to protect their image and their character, I get that. I, I get that. Get the fuck out of reality TV then. Well, y'all, I'm going to leave it to y'all to put it in the comments of who you think she's talking about. Maria's supposed to go live today, so we're going to see what she says. Because she said if she needs to check Marie, she will check Marie. She has no problem with that. Child, this was good. It's your girl, Millie John. Talk to y'all later. Bye.